Yo, Kepe Sky here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And today we have made new friends in HT Designs. They have sent out to me their seats, um, the Sheffield seats from HT Designs. They were gracious enough to send this out for me to review for you guys today. Now, HT Designs is aware that I have been sitting in some Tuscany Valencia Tuscany seats um, for the past month or pretty close to that. And they say that this, I'll be pleasantly surprised and maybe even like these more than the Valencia Tuscany seat. So we're going to find that out in a completely unbiased review. Um, so if you haven't seen my Valencia Tuscany video just yet, I will link that down below in the description for you guys. Um, but what we're going to do today is just an unboxing, just kind of put it together, show you what's in the box, go through some of the features. And then my next video, I'll sit down and really give a thorough review on this chair. I may even do a separate video going um, head to head against the Tuscany Valencia Tuscany seats and seeing what I think is best for your behind. So without further ado, let me grab my box cutter or something to open up the box with. We'll see what's inside. We'll go through the features and we'll go from there. While we're back here, I'll go ahead and show you how this assembles. So this is the backrest right here on the top. I'll point it up so you guys can see it. This is the backrest on the top. Of course, the backrest comes disassembled just like it does on the Valencia seats. It comes disassembled so you can have a smaller package, of course. But there's a cord from the top that'll connect down below at the bottom that'll give the backrest and the headrest its motorization. So you'll take that cord and you'll connect it to this cord here and this power cord right here is the cord that you'll plug into the wall, obviously, to give the seat power. Um, so that's pretty similar to the Valencia's. I'm pretty sure that's the only way you can probably do it with a theater seat. Um, so same sort of configuration. And then on the sides, you may have noticed there's a few little bars on the back there. Um, so that's how the seat actually uh, attaches to the rails. There are some little if i can pull it down for you guys there are some rails right here on the side that kind of just lock into place just like the home theater seats that of tuscany's the valencia tuscany's they attach the same way I and mean, this is the part that's actually motorized is this part here so you just literally lock these on into place which we'll do in a second and then this little flap down here from the uh the backrest will cover up all this mess with the velcro at the bottom
All right, so we moved one of the Valencia Tuscany seats out of the way and in place is the H2 Design Sheffield seat. And we got it plugged up and ready to go. So let's kind of go through some of the features and then we'll sit down and see what I think initially. So just like most home theater chairs that you see nowadays, they do have LEDs not only in the cup holders, but they also are at the bottom. Now this is a very bright light. This may be a distraction to some people. They may think it's cool, but it is bright in my personal opinion, or a lot of it at least shows underneath. Um, so it will be a very bright light um, that may be a problem for some people. We'll have to see. But LEDs at the bottom, LEDs inside the cup holders, and there's LEDs around the cup holders, which is a really cool touch. Now on the right side armrest, there are the controls for the seat as well. So the first button, you have the ability to uh, recline. So it kicks out um, the bottom feet rest, and then it has the backside reclining as well. So you can really lock this in. It reclines pretty far back. So that button sets it all the way back. The button to the right of it, the second button will reset the seat. It will re uh, decline you back to where you were. Now the middle button is the light button. So this switches off the uh, cup holder lights as well as the lights underneath the seat. Moving on to the fourth button is how you control the headrest on the back. So you can move that to how you like it. And it has a pretty far travel, which is nice to see. Now there's one button that's not on here that I'm surprised that I don't see. And that's gonna be lumbar support. Some people may like that a lot. Um, there is no lumbar support on this seat. Um, it is really padded. It, it is really uh, comfortable and squishy and you feel like you just kind of fall into it. So it may not be a problem, but if you're somebody who likes to have that lower back control, you do not have it, at least on this um, model of seat. So let's go ahead and sit in it and see what we think. All right, so sitting in it for the very first time, let's see how we feel. Wow. Yeah, that is very cushioned. This feels really good. These, wow. It's actually, <laughs> this is a really impressive uh, feeling chair right here. It feels really good. We got armrests as well, which are pretty deep. Looks like there's something inside. Let's take a look here. What do we have? Huh. I didn't know that these were in here. Let's see what these are. A little gift. Oh, wow. Check that out. So they give you this, these are inserts that go into the cup holders here, I believe, let's see. Yes, they are. So these go into the cup holders to protect the cup holder um, from moisture, from water. Um, of course, when you put a drink inside of here, like a cup or a glass, the condensation can settle into here. Um, so this is to protect it, to keep that from happening. So that's really nice and they're easily removable. So there is two, so there's one on, Oh, look, more goodies. There's two of those glass or plastic cup holders. And then check this out here. If I can get this out. Oh, this is really in there. Check this out. So they actually have a tray for eating. So this actually gets inserted right here. And now you have a tray for eating. Now Valencia has this as well and it's free as well. So I'm assuming all these parts that I'm finding right now come with the seats. So that's really nice to see. You get some cup holder inserts to protect your cup holders and then you have a nice tray for eating. That is really nice to see. And of course it goes 360 around. But overall, kind of just sitting in the seat. Oh, put this armrest down. It feels really comfortable extremely comfortable. Let's recline it and see how it feels here. Yeah, that's very comfortable. Let's do the headrest. Yeah, that feels, <laughs> it feels as much, you, as much money as you're spending on this, you're getting exactly what you expect. Feels really soft. I'm gonna save the overall review for another video um, just to give myself some time to really sit in it and see how I feel over time. Um, but solid feeling seat already. I can't describe to you how cushioned, how cushiony this, this seat is. It feels really good. Now I can already tell that the lumbar support is going to be an issue for some people because I would like it to sit a little more forward on my bottom back because I feel like I'm slipping a little bit because it is a slick kind of leather material. Um, so I'm probably going to have to do this a lot, sit back up a lot. Otherwise I'm going to keep sliding off of it. Um, so lumbar support would really be nice to have me kind of planted. I feel like that's what I'm missing, um, but maybe I'll get used to it over time. But 
overall initial feeling, it feels really good. And I like the features. I like the button location where they are. And I like the lights inside the cup holders. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna sit in this for maybe a week or two. We'll come back to this. I'm gonna sit in it, watch some movies, watch some general TV, and we'll come back with an overall review. And if you guys are interested, I'll also make a video comparing them to the Valencia Tuscany seats that I have currently in my, my home theater. We'll sit them side by side like they are now, and we'll go through um, some of the differences that these have. Also, before we go, they also sent me some really cool toys as well. So these are some accessories that you can put on your chair. For example, this one is an iPad or a, a tablet holder here that retracts and it sits just inside the uh, insert here, just like everything else. So now I have a place to hold my phone, maybe put the remote, whatever I want. So there's a few accessories that came with the seat. That is very impressive. I do wish that this was black. It kind of looks weird having a black seat and then you have a silver accessory. I do wish that that was black. Now here's a really cool thing that they sent to me as well, just as a friendly gift. They sent out this really cool blanket. Check this out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all of it on camera, but I'll take a picture of it. This blanket says home cinema and has some uh, nice little uh, home theater goodies on the top. That was a very nice present. Thank you guys so much for sending that out. I've already used it like five times. I only had it for two days. <laughs> so really nice people, really good customer service experience so far. So guys, stay tuned um, for the overall review of this seat. We'll see how it is long-term, how comfortable am I in it? And I'll switch back and forth between this seat and my Valencia Tuscany seat to the left of me. And we'll do an overall comparison and figure out which one that you should buy. So with that being said, guys, leave me a comment down below. Have you ever heard of HT Design? I personally have not until now. So have you guys heard of them? And if you have, what do you guys think? Leave me that comment down below, hit that like, subscribe if you are not already, and we will see you in the next video. Keep this guy out. Peace.